Never forget about safety rules. Wear your workshop coat. If you're working with machines, you need protection glasses. If you have long hair, use a hair tie. Start by going to the recycling bin. Here you can find some leftover pieces of plastic. This method helps you save money and you use material. The pieces you found can be consulted with the staff. It's better to check before you start working. In the workshop you can find two types of plastic. Polystyrene PS, is mostly white. In the workshop you can buy plastic sheets that have different thicknesses from 0.2 cm to 2 cm. You can use it for model concept or maquettes. PS can also be used in vacuum forming processes. PET can be used for thermal forming. This transparent plastic is lightweight and shatterproof. In the workshop you can purchase these plastic sheets in thicknesses varying from 0.2 cm to 2 cm. If you need more material, you can buy it at the staff counter. Measure your material carefully, and for cutting, don't forget about the extra margin of error. Cutting For cutting plastics in the workshop, you can find two types of scissor machines. This one can be used for cutting corners. This machine can be used for cutting straight lines. Depending on the thickness of the material, you might have to cut several times. The cuts might be rasp if your material is thicker than 0.5mm. Remember to finish it by sanding to get a clean and neat look. You can also use electric sewing machines. Always wear your glasses. Hold your material in a confident way to eliminate any shaking. You have a nice thumb, so take care of it and don't put it under the saw. This electric showing machine gives you the effect for thicker cuts, so use it only for bigger pieces. For detailed cuts, use the previous sewing machines shown in this video. Welcome to the sanding room. Once again, wear your glasses, make the money you paid for them worth it. Before working, make sure the ventilation is on. You need to breathe. In this room, metal materials are not allowed. Machines in this room make sanding easy. The two large disc sanders can quickly be used to remove material and sand smaller parts. In the workshop, you can also find oscillating palm sanders to quickly sand by hand and rotatory tools to sand small parts or hard to reach areas. There are different grits of sandpaper. You should always start with the smaller, coarser grits like 60 and make your way up to finer grits like 180 and 240. This will give you a smooth finish to the plastic. It is important to note that smaller grits remove more material and leave visible scratches. Finer grits can be used to finish the surface when all the unwanted material has been removed. 
Connecting pieces. The best way to connect or bind two pieces of plastic together along their edges is with glue. You can use super glue and a hot glue gun too. The best way is using chloroform as it fuses the plastic together into one piece rather than gluing it. The staff at the workshop can always provide you with more detailed information. Remember that each work can be different and require different techniques. Thanks for watching.